Hello everyone, Inventor719 here. Today's video, we're going to be making the world's easiest and simplest dart for your .177 or possibly 22 cal pelican. So to make your pelican darts, all you need are these two supplies that can probably be found around your house. You just need some cotton balls, the nice light fluffy ones, not the pads preferably, just like this. And sewing needles, as you can see here, I have a whole bunch of assorted ones. And the kind we want, which you're going to have to try and look for, are like this, almost looks like a nail. I know it's hard to see, but it has the flat head on the top which we will use to grab the cotton, which I will show you right now. Now to make your actual dart, simply get the needle as I described before with the flat head and simply push it through the center of the cotton ball, like so. And then by pulling the cotton off, a little bit will be stuck to the head of the needle, just like that. And this time I actually got quite a lot with the first try. Sometimes you'll have to um, stick it through multiple times and just let it keep building up. Kind of like you see here, I'll pull a bit more off, that's a bit too much. For my .177 cal, which is probably standard for pellet guns, you want about the size of a pea of cotton so it compresses nicely in the barrel. So let me make a few of these up and we'll do some target shooting. Here we are outside for the shooting test. I'm using my Break barrel, 177 cal, this little Chinese pelican shoots around 500 feet per second. So to load them in, I've broken the barrel. Break barrel works the best for this, by the way. Then to load them, simply place them just in the tip, and then using a little stick like this, skewer stick, just push them down in nicely. Make sure all the cotton gets in behind it. Just push nice and light, just like that. Close up the barrel and let's shoot at our three targets. We have a brick of wood, bristol board, and a rubber tire. Let's see how each of them react to the dart. First brick of wood. Shooting at the bristol board now. Lastly, shooting at the tread of the tire. Damage report on the piece of wood. There it is right there, stuck in quite nicely. And pulling it out now. Probably went in about that far there. Half an inch. Then on the bristol board, no surprise here. Went almost all the way through. The head just got stuck on the outside here. Pretty much full depth there. Then for the tire, quite impressive, as obviously rubber is quite strong. Probably went in a good three quarters of an inch, almost half of this dart. So, as you can see, these are quite effective and very easy to make, cheap too. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, please like, comment, and subscribe.